What does it say to you that they are beginning so early this year? Well, it says to me that they have a lot on their plate uh, and that uh, we'll be here for a good long time. Spring sittings are normally all about the budget. This time it'll be different. It'll be about the budget, which takes about three weeks to pass, but certainly about very controversial legislation. Well, and one of those, of course, first and foremost, is potential changes to the Education Act. We know that the government has said they want to make administrative changes to the education system. They also want to make unilateral changes to the contract that teachers have, taking out vice principals, principals and administrators from the union. Mm -hmm. There have been some closed door meetings recently between the union and the minister on this, so we don't know what things are gonna look like next week when the house opens. We're gonna see that bill. I'm told it's the first thing uh, they plan to uh, table when the uh, house sits on uh, Tuesday. Uh, two other big things that we're gonna see dealt with during this session, legislation as it relates to marijuana mm -hmm. and potential changes to the electoral boundaries on cannabis, of course, that's a federal beast. The federal government is gonna make that what they want to make it, but the province does have some decisions to make. And with this bill that we're going to see, we're gonna find out things like where and if you can smoke it public, uh, what the penalties might be if you're caught breaking that rule or, or driving while under the influence. The Mayor 101 is interesting because we're in the midst of a leadership race on the conservative benches and the three of their MLAs have thrown their hats into the ring and you should be able to see some jockeying for a position. Uh, there are uh, people within the conservative caucus who aren't crazy about it and I think will use that as a platform to do their law and order uh, discussion, if you will. And one of the things I'm going to be watching for this session is how they perform. Their leader, Jamie Bailey, had to resign uh, last month following allegations of sexual harassment. So we've got an interim leader here in Carla McFarlane. She's an experienced MLA, but she's obviously never been leader before, so we're going to watch that. Well, and there's a bit of a sticky wicket in terms of uh, the education bill because you're already seeing Carla McFarlane trying to play both ends against the middle in the sense that uh, she, they want to be supportive of the teachers the way the NDP planned to back them uh, full tilt, but uh, the, she's already sending the signal that she doesn't want a disruption in the classroom. So how uh, the conservatives are able to play that and try and find some sort of middle ground that, that they don't lose any votes will be interesting to see. It's going to be a long session, probably one of the longest in, in recent memory, and we're both going to be down here for all of it watching. And if you have any ideas along the way of how what's going on down here affects you, feel free to reach out and let us know.